usually have the discus. So, discus, let's do it. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to have a discus tank. I've got a lot of things like these Java ferns, which are ginormous. So the light that I have on it is actually not a plant light, it's just a regular light. We're gonna try and grow plants with it. Um, we'll see how that goes. I also have a bunch of rosy barb tetras in there at the moment, just to get the water nice and bacteria -ed. I put the sand in there a while ago, because when you put sand in there, you gotta wait like 48 hours for the cloudiness to go away. That filter is not the filter that I'm gonna be using. I've got a massive canister filter that will go probably right there. All right, all the rosy barbs are in the water and they'll stay there until I sort out where they're gonna go. <laughs> try and make a bubble wall on the very back of the tank. Basically there's this tube and it's got like holes. I don't know, you're not gonna be able to see this. Absolutely not. It's got these little holes. Anyway, it's basically a tube with holes in it and you whack an air pump in it with a little bit of tubing. It blows out of the holes, creates some bubbles and it looks great. Everyone got the seat belts on. I think it's yeah. time to go. How many discs did you get? Three. Four. Uh, four. The big four. They went yeah. down to Sydney to get these guys, and they have, I want to say, about 30 to choose from. And we're going to pick four. The finest of the crop. <laughs> the ones that aren't sick. Well, hopefully none of them are sick. Yeah. Come on. Get in front of the L plate, too. Oh, you love to see it. Imagine being an L plater. Now, these discus like to be very, very warm. Oh. 28 to 30 degrees. And I, I know how to get here. We're not going to get lost like we did when we got the axolotl. I don't know how much they've priced these ones at. Maybe I should have asked that before I. Before you made your heart. Before I've made my decision. <laughs> oh, that's a park and a half right there. Look at that. Oh, that's us. Oh, in the shade, too. You love to see it. have the discus we're out of here we got three i thought we were going to get four but they advised three so you know, you know what, what you know what thought did kick this out when he didn't huh <laughs> oh i'm very happy with that they look great and like 70 bucks that's not bad Feels so good to finally have them. Look at the snail, he's coming over to investigate who are the new predators in the tank. And here we have a snail in its natural habitat. Approaching its prey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's been about a week since I put the discus in there and there's a lot of algae on both the glass and the sand. And I know one fish that's gonna eat all of that and that's a Siamese algae eater. And I will get some quarries as well. I'm looking for some panda quarries, but I'll take what I can get. So I'm gonna go ahead to the fish shop now and see what they have. 
All right, so we've got the bags acclimating at the moment. As you can see, these are some beautiful Julie Corey Siamese alligators as well, because as you can see, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick this up. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Especially on the sand there. I haven't actually cleaned the tank at all. You can see all this stuff here. Hey guys, how's it going? They've settled down really well, by the way. They're really chill. And now when I tap the tank, they know it's time to eat. But as you can see, some of these plants haven't stayed down properly at all. This has been a big fail for those. So I'll probably move them downstairs. But I did get some more Amazon swords today because they were really cheap and looked really nice. But yeah, this is what I'm at at the moment. It looks like it's going to be an Amazon sword, Java fern kind of tank. They're really chill now. After the first couple of days, they were really, really, uh, nervous and they were very timid but now they're comfortable and happy and used to the environment and yeah they're thriving their colors have popped out so much more especially this red one here so i've done a bit of maintenance on the tank just some basic stuff i got rid of the plants that were floating that hadn't stuck down in the sand i think it's time to get these fish in They look so good and they're gonna keep the tank nice and clean as well. Anyway, so that's gonna wrap this video up, I think. Also, I'm gonna be posting every Sunday now, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of these. All right, thanks heaps for watching. See you in the next one.